What's up, you guys? I am Chanel with Lizzie's Charm, and today we're about to do a pick a card reading. So this pick a card is going to be for um, the homemaker, the housewife, however you like to call yourself. You may be one and not the other, you know, so we're going to um, go over different aspects of that entail that specific role and just get a breakdown of where it is that we can show up better in ourselves so that we can um function with a little bit more precision you know so i did the readings that i provide i do do for them do for myself i had created this a while ago and i re re-edited i edited it recently and when um this last time when i pulled these cards for myself it was it was crazy <laughs> so much came up so much just re was revealed to me that i have not been um really i don't want to say paying attention to it myself but what i thought i had released or moved beyond and kind of brought me into recognizing that no not yet <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead oh first these are the stones the first stone is a unikite stone it's so beautiful and the next stone is a rose quartz And the last stone is a magicite. And I'll talk about each stone after I shuffle the cards. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see the cards. Um, and that way that will be the only focus. So let me just go ahead and I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to shuffle, make three piles. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the readings. So I'll be back. Okay. okay, so we're going to get started on pile one. So for those of you who chose the Unikite, the Unikite connects to creativity, uh, fertility. It's a great wound healer. It's also, um, it's like a woman's stone in a sense, really allowing you to tap into your, intu into your intuition, into your visions, your dreams, your ideals, and aligning with that. Um, let me see. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Give me one second, you guys. I have the hiccups. Okay, so yes, creativity, fertility, um, inspirations. It's also a good stone for um, increasing your psychic awareness and connecting to your spiritual body as well. Um, let's see. Is that it? That's all I want to say. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and get into Pile 1 and pull these cards for you all. And the stone, stone, the candle that I had left, this was my last candle. And um, it just so happened to be a blue candle, you know, that's a very feminine energy, very watery energy. <clears throat> Everything for me lately has been happening very divinely, very synchronistically. I think I might have to make a video about it. But let's get into these cards, shall we? So, let's see. So the first card that's coming out for power one, the focus, the focus here, or more so you, is the Ten of Swords. So you may be going through a, a, a metamorphosis, a rebirth, a change in the way it is that you perceive 
your home life, um, in, in being present in the home. This may also, you may also be feeling like the Ten of Swords in some aspects speaks to betrayal and feeling like you've been stabbed in the back or um, not, weren't um, taken into consideration. So that may be something that you may be experiencing right now, but more so this, what it's feeling like that it's more about changing the subconscious mind so that the world around you can start to reflect differently. So things can change and up level in a sense and really come into a space that you consciously believe that things can and should be. So for your routines and your chores, you have here the Ace of Wands. So you may need to start doing doing something different the way you go about uh, really your day-to-day -day life in the sense and how it is that you align with what it is that you have to do, what needs to be done, and maybe need to place a little bit more energy into it, in, which speaks a lot to a need of, well, it speaks to the, um, the newness, the, the changing of things, the shifting of things, you know, and really being more assertive and taking more initiative in what it is that you or how you have been choosing to go about everything. Perhaps you just need a new routine altogether that will better serve you in having things taken care of at home. So the feng shui that's coming up here is the ace of cups so with the ace of cups this may be something this may be something new to you um it may be something that you may need to connect with on an emotional level like a a wanting to do this a feeling called to do this so but looking at it at just a elemental aspect um, this will be the water areas in your home. So this will be the north, which is your career area. Um, this is also, let me see. I think north might be the only water area that is in the home. Okay, the east as well, which is the health and the family area as well. So I recently made a post uh, on feng shui on my website. I'll link that below in the description box so that you can check that out and see for yourself um, where this is more resonative for you and, you know, connecting and starting something new in these areas. You, this can also even speak to life in general um, when it comes to your career, when it comes to, you know, health of the fam the health and the family and how it is that you feel about these things and how, you know, listening and following your intuition, the guidance it is that you've been given in those areas of your life. But more so than anything, it is speaking to the water areas in your home and I need to really do something new, bring some fresh energy into that area, maybe decorate with some black, some, some water um, portraits, water uh, emblems, statues, fountains, things like that. So let's see, let's move on. And for self-care for you is the Five of Cups. So there may need to be some type of emotional growth that needs to happen in regards to how it is that you go about. It's just how you see things, right? Because this is um, our emotions, they, they really dictate our mindset 
right? And so you're focused or you, where you are is in this 10 of swords and you're like rebirthing this area of yourself. Um, or perhaps you may be in a space of trying to figure out or see things differently, right? So what is calling for is emotional growth. You really need to take care of your emotional body. You probably need to be putting yourself first in some aspect, taking care of yourself on a spiritual level, taking care of yourself on a feminine level as well, <clears throat> and really connecting. You know, this, this Unikite card came up, so perhaps you need to do more connecting with your womb space, um, any type of feminine practices that you may are connected with, but also perhaps you need to just connect with others, other women that you can, you know, just kick it with in a sense, you know, really just enjoy connecting, connection as well. So your creativity is the Ten of Wands. So maybe uh maybe there needs to be you need to begin on your inspirations your aspirations any type of thing that you have been wanting to build any type of um, and build in a sense of what where does your creativity lie what is it that you like to do do you have any hobbies it's, it's time to engage in those as well as also seeing where it is that you can let go of what what it feels like is too much you know what burdens are you carrying how can you make it easier for yourself can you find a creative way uh, in lightening your load so that everything doesn't feel so burdensome right and this comes out under this this ace of wands so the ten of wands turns into the ace of wands so this is almost as if you need to find a very creative way to go about your routines and what it is that you have to take care of around the house so that you can you can make the load lighter for yourself. <clears throat> you know, a, a new way, right? Because you have this here with this in this routines choice section of ace of wands so needing to do something new needing to do it in a lighter newer way um something with a little bit more initiative being more assertive in that as well you know this is also with this creativity can you find joy in your work it seems can what creative ways can you find fulfillment in in pleasure and what it is that you have to do right because your self-care coming up here is with this five of cups this also speaks about initiative it speaks about being assertive you know it speaks about change as well but also five um can reveal things to us you know so maybe taking time maybe you just need some time to sit in silence and let's see what your nourishment says. So your nourishment here is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is perhaps you need a routine for your life, um, something that with your body in general, um, you know, a time that you eat, a time that you rest, a time that you move, you know, really getting aligned with something that works for you, something that you're comfortable with, something that again, brings you joy, something that you can stay consistent with, something that's very practical, you know, and doesn't take up too much of uh, what it is that you already have to do, you know, in a sense. And this is coming out under the feng shui card. So, and it is crossing the way that it's crossing with this chores, chores and routines area, it's seeming, it feels, and I don't want to say seeming, it feels like you really need to get a, establish a better, um, be more consistent in the way it is that you go about handling things in the home in general, so that you can furthermore align to be able to take care of yourself, right? Because if you can't take care of yourself, you can't, it, it, that reflects through the home, it reflects in the relationships in the home. If you have relationships in the home, um, 
I mean, I feel like majority of those who watch watch this video will. <clears throat> so it will definitely give you a more lighter, youthful connection to what it is that you have to take care of, right? So in your relationships, you have the magician. So with this coming up in the magician, this is about bringing the spirit energy down into the physical you know and really alchemizing utilizing what it is that you already have within you and uh, let that play out physically in your relationships so this also speaks to in a sense uh, being a bit more confident as well in your relationships um and knowing that you already have everything in order to have fulfilling relationships, right? Because, and see, this is coming out this under this self-care card. And it really feels like you may need to be connecting with people. This is a mercurial energy, mercury, you know, so uh, very much so a need to uh, communicate, you know, need to connect with others again, and really um, really change your perspective on how it is that you believe your life has to be or has to go and allow that to serve you in a way that helps you connect with others in knowing. And also you may need to have a little bit more trust and faith in your relationships because the magician is about, it's, it's magic, yes, but it's also about knowing that um, or having the faith, having or having the belief, you know, the perspective that um, what you put in, you're going to get back, basically. So it's almost if you have been feeling any sense of scarcity or um, any sense of separation, I should say, it will serve you in connecting with another to be able to, um, okay, I came out the room. So, yes, um, a really, a need to also activate your will within your relationships when it comes to connecting with your relationships and really, if, like, so if you need help, if you need some support, definitely call on those who can help you in that department so the obstacle that you have here is the four cups so you may be feeling very apathetic about just home life in general and i need to um maybe a little bored with it and need to um recognize within yourself how this has generated so that you can come out of it, so that you can bring your focus back into the home, so that you can, and perhaps the apathy has manifested from just, in a sense, taking on too much, you know, so lightening that load, that asking for help might serve you in freeing of space that you're able to do more for yourself, take care, better care of yourself as well. And the advice is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles speak of, with it coming up in the advice quadrant, this is a need to really focus on the home, you know, on the family, uh, find your fulfillment and what that looks like, what that feels like for you, but also focus on your health, taking care of yourself in a really um, nourishing and nurturing and fulfilling way that is going to um, help you move things through your body so that you're not feeling stagnant or stuck in being able to carry out what it is that you want to carry out for yourself, for your life, for your home. You know, um, again, this is a lot about uh, shifting your thoughts, your how it is that you see things, your perception of things, so that 
you can really find more fulfillment in what it is that you are doing, what you're going after. A really a big need to, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's it, like there, it seems like you've been stuck kind of in this one particular type of energy and it's a need for you to come up out of that through a shift in perspective, a shift in self-awareness of what it is that is possible for you to do, what it is that you can do. Perhaps this has to do with your health with this Ace of Cups coming out in the feng shui area, you may need to be taking better care of yourself. Um, you may also, if this has anything to do with your career, your, um, your career life, in a sense, you may need to find a new way of going about seeing that, viewing that, feeling about that so that you can go further in a sense it's almost like you kind of need to get out of your own way so that you can let more come to light come to surface so that you can fill your cup up yourself and not with the past it's like a past energy needs to be let go of so this here says to trust your path you may be feeling like <laughs> that um you don't you just don't know what it is or where it is or what that you're supposed to be doing perhaps that's why you're feeling apathetic feeling just bored with things um and maybe feeling very emotionally constricted <clears throat> in a sense but it's because you have a lack of faith it feels like a uh, need to really recognize what is for you to be doing and what is not, what is important and what is not, because in the center of the reading is the Ten of Wands. So it's like all of these things are being carried on on your back in the sense, um, feeling like you can't take care of yourself, um, just kind of feeling out of sorts in the home in general and really needing a new way to go about things but you can't you can't see how you can go how you can change up what it is that you're doing without getting out of that emotional state that doesn't allow you to see things clearly and really trust and have faith that you are at the right place at the right time doing the right things and so here wow so here you have the bottlenose dolphin which is a 29 that's an 11. 11 is the justice card so that is about fairness and balance and harmony so the bottlenose dolphin says safe shores of emotional and physical security are yours All right so perhaps you have been a little bit concerned with um, feeling secure, but it's important to recognize that that is generated within everything that's going out, going on outside of us is simply a reflection of what's going on within. So the bottom, the bottom nose dolphin, its key word is protection. It says astounding news will, f will present a fresh start. You have nothing to fear in a situation that, that may make you feel as if you are out of your depth. Bottlenose often feels compelled to help an unfortunate companion to stay afloat. Help is at hand, perhaps from your mother or other female friends. Wow. It, to encounter a new, a vital new experience, you are simply being pushed towards the surface like a newborn dolphin, whose mother and female companions are encouraging it above the surface of the water to take its first breath. The strong social structure of the group revolves around the close bond between mother and offspring. Similarly, therein lies your support and good fortune. So yes, definitely ask someone for help if you need that. Um, All right, because and with this Ten of Cups coming out at the advice section, it's like, you know, call on your family. Let them know you need help, you know, ask them. So the 
affirmation card you have here is letting go. So what do you need to let go of? You are holding on to some, some burden, some ideal, that idea, some perspective that is keeping you separated from being able to connect with people, keeping you in this space of boredom or emotional discord as well, keeping you away from really being able to enjoy life and feel like that you can take care of yourself the way you want to take care of yourself. All right, so letting go says, I don't dwell on bad things that happen. I let go because I have, I have enough hairy things, heavy things to carry around. Also, grudges aren't, aren't a good look. So if you are also in need of uh, reconciling any relationships, it's a good time to do so with that as well. Um, there, are, there are many people here that can help you um it's just a need to to really call on them and trust <laughs> that they will be there to give you a helping hand and it's interesting i was just thinking about um the earth sign of taurus virgo capricorn because of these pinnacles here and the card that came out is Virgo. So it's, this is really all about your routine. So maybe you need to, maybe you need to call on someone that can help you build a successful routine. Maybe you need to connect with people who live a life of having productive and prosperous routines in their life, being able to take care of themselves on a regular basis, um, being able to really. Um, you know, who who are, in a sense, well off, you know, and not necessarily even financially, but just, you know, are in their life, enjoy their life. But this for you is also um, needing to take care of your health, your routines, your day-to-day -day life is very important. And it's almost as if you need to be in it a little bit more so that um, what can happen for you the way you want it to happen will it's all up to you you hold the power of how things go in your life if you believe it and choose to align to what needs to be done what needs to be taken care of for you you know and really nurture and nourish yourself perhaps <clears throat> if you have any pets Maybe if you have a pet, if that has been something that has been taking a little bit more of your time than uh, needed, perhaps you should let the pet go to someone else who can take care of them for a little while to even get your bearings. Because it's, it's really a need to focus on your daily life, your routines, your health, you know, your emotional state, your emotional nature, so that you can really get to the bottom, the truth of what these things are for you. And so that you can remove them for your life, from your life, so that you can begin to enjoy life, so that you can begin to live life in a way that you want, that you desire. Uh, the Mercury is also a house of, <clears throat> also a sign of open enemies. So this also, again, with the reconciliation, and you may just be the only one who is your enemy. <laughs> okay, so take that as you may, and I hope that this was helpful for you, Power One. Um, if so, please let me know in the comments. We can, I would love to know, love to read your comments and see how things are going for you. Okay, we are up to how to. So, how to, you chose the rose quartz. And, you know, rose quartz is all about self love, self nurturing, self care, but it's also about love in general, the heart chakra, you know, being able to give and receive love. This is also about gentleness and kindness to the self, um, really accepting you for who you are and not feeling like there is anything wrong with what it is that you choose for your life. This can also speak to. Um, needing to open your heart if it has been closed off in any type of way. Um, 
also needing to extend a little bit of kindness to others, you know, but rose quartz is, is really a good emotional stabilizer as well. So if you have been dealing with any type of emotional unrest, upset, you know, uh, working with rose quartz may rose quartz may help and support you in that. So let's see what the cards have for you. How to. So your focus here is the four of pentacles. So you may be focused on your stability. Um, focus on really holding on to what it is that you have and not wanting to let go of it so that in the event of kind of thing, <laughs> you know, but feeling really grounded, feeling really stable in your life and that you have everything it is that you need. And perhaps you're trying to find out, figure out a way to hold on to that, you know, but just really at home with who it is that you are, what it is that you have, and in a sense, being satisfied with that. So for your routines and chores, you need to come to the space of mastery in them. So whatever it is that you have been inspired to do, go ahead and do that. If you have been kind of sitting there and figuring it out in this kind of innocent scattered space, know that if you are feeling it, then it is yours, it is yours to do. And that will definitely serve you in feeling successful in getting getting shit done, basically. You know, just following that intuition, those inspirations. What is it that, how do you see your home? How do you see it flowing and going? Definitely do that, act on that. And, but some, it feels like a lot of you guys may already have a good handle on this. You know, this might be your, your area of expertise in a sense. <laughs> so if it is, continue doing that. But if it is not, you know, know that it can be if you just do whatever it is that you're feeling that you should do, should be doing. That whatever that quick insight is that's coming up, do that. So the feng shui that you have here is the nine of pentacles. So this is bringing stuff into the home that uh, creates a sense of richness, a sense of uh, luxury. You know, whether that is flowers, plants, um, you may, this is the areas of the West. This is also the areas of, let me see. This is of the Southeast and of the Southwest. So these are your love and marriage areas. This is your wealth and abundance areas. And this is your children and creativity area. So you may need to, if you have been feeling insecure in any of those areas in your life, bringing some energy, cleaning out those areas, uh, bringing some, a little bit more fullness, a little bit more earth into the home, a little bit more life into those areas may support you in shifting that energy flow within the house. And so the next card we have is your self-care. And your self-care is you need a little bit more spiritual practice, you know, a need to go within, get still, um, consult with the divine, tap into that sacred wisdom, that, that divine wisdom, that divine feminine wisdom, you know, and really connect with who it is that you are as a feminine being, you know, and um, see what it is that you are, what messages are there for you? What are you being offered? What are you being given? You know, what are the instructions that spirit is offering you in making do in your life? And that will, that's what is going to help you with, if you have been in this space of like, okay, how am I going to keep this going? This this um, energy that I have in my home. How do I keep this stable? It's in you. You're not going to figure it out from outside of you. It's within. So your creativity here is, your creativity lies in moving more into your authenticity, 
right? So this is basically, again, a need to tap in that in that self-care area is where you're going to find where you can bring more creativity into the home, into your day-to-day -day life within the home, you know, maybe connecting with some hobbies, connecting with that sense of innocence, um, of things that fulfilled you when you were younger that you can apply and really um, feel emotionally fulfilled through doing this. You know, it may even allow you to bring in some type of finances in the home by connecting with this. So your wellness, nourishment, you know, it seems to be going really well. This Six of Wands coming out here feels really good. Um, and just continue to do what it is that you're doing. And if you have not been doing anything, the main thing it seems that needs to be done is movement. Needing to get out, exercise, get some sun, you know, get some light. If you've been in the house, you know, I know it's it, depending on where you're watching this from here in America, it's winter, but in all of America, it's not winter. <laughs> so wherever you are at this time, definitely um, get out into nature if you can. Um, get out and, and just get some movement going on, even if it's walking, you know, do some stretching, bring some agility into your life ways that you could perhaps strengthen your body as well but in a very light manner you know maybe doing some type of vinyasa yoga will be supportive of that so for your relationships you have the three of cups so definitely take some time to celebrate take some time to connect take some time to um corral with your homies with your friends with your girls, your gals, you know, your your family, even your mom, your sisters, aunts, whoever you like to connect with, definitely take some time to connect with them. And also, they may also bring, be bringing you in some type of um, inspiration for creativity for yourself and for your life. Okay, so yes, bring a little bit of love into your relationships, a little bit of joy, some fun. Um, it also makes me want to say if there has been any type of relationships that you have been feeling uncomfortable with or just in a sense of unsurety, definitely um, take some time away from those and connect with uh, others who you can feel like you can be more authentic in yourself through and you know just to kick back and enjoy life a little bit so the obstacles here you have is the hanged man hmm. so with the hanged man you may just um maybe seeing things unclearly in a sense especially when it comes to what it is that uh can be done what needs to be done um what is possible, especially with it coming out, with this high priestess coming out in the self-care card. So it seems like you need to do some internal reflection, right? The, the, the hangman basically speaks of being at this space where you now have to take over your journey, right? From within, you have had the tools to uh, and resources to make it happen up until this point, but it's time for you to take tap in and make it yours, you know, make it really authentic, true to you, you know, especially with this Eight of Cups coming up here in this creativity space, you really need to walk away from any old emotional um, has -beens, really, you know, and what what do you really feel what how do you want things to go what do you want things to feel like how do you want them to look what what do you want your day to day to be like what do you wh how do you see life at home you know what will make you what will what lights you up when you think about how you would like your house your day to day life your living to go 
you know so the advice here is the queen of pentacles <laughs> which is like kind of perfect for all of this because the queen of pentacles she is she's the mother she is the nurturer you know she is able she has everything it is that she needs she is all the queens the the queen of wands the the queen of swords the queen of um what's the other one queen of cups all into one you know so it's really it's it, you really need to get balanced um and when I say balanced, I mean, uh, come back into your state of wholeness, right? Because this is what that is, you know, taking care of your body, um, being aware of your emotional nature and which ways best serve you in, in showing up and responding to people. How is it that you find yourself responding? Are you, are you acting or are you reacting, you know? what type of movement are you doing for yourself what how are you feeling about things um and how do you think about things right you have no wands here <clears throat> so it feels like that that may be what needs to be taken a look at if you were trying because you're trying you at this space of trying to figure things out or you're trying to figure out how do i go about doing going forward x y and z and only you know that you know the queen of pentacles she's here with her eyes closed she's tapping within and recognizing all the ways that she can show up and be the giver that she is because she knows that she's receiving through all things that she is giving but not in a way that is burdening her but a way that benefits herself and everyone at the same time you know being very plentiful in her giving and being open to receive the queen of pentacles is the minor arcana card for me for the empress you know so this is also about recognizing your self-worth what are your values what do you value right because with you coming out of this space of, okay, I've used these tools, I've had these resources all this time, what do I wanna do now? And you're needing to figure it out within you. The first step may be for you to, what is it that you value? What do you see as worthy? What makes you feel good? What makes you feel grounded? What makes you feel stable? Not what anybody else has told you should, but what you feel will and know will. Right, and if you don't know that, taking time to tap into this high priestess energy will do do that for you. So, really taking time to meditate, um, do some breath work, some visualization, doing things that help you move out of the way, move out of your own way, in a sense. And perhaps you just simply need to be doing things differently. But sometimes we have to let that inspiration come up of how it is that we are going to be doing this differently so let's see what the oracle card says yeah get grounded so you those of you who chose pile two in this rose quartz you know very sensitive in nature you know so really needing to i don't want to say protect your energy but recognize um how it is that you go about giving out your energy in in, in conserving your energy how are you doing this what does that look like for you take time to again connect with nature bring some nature into the home get out in the sun get outside take time to get into the elements so that they can help usher in and return you to you <laughs> the soul let's see the mermaid card that came out here is lorelei or we can say lorelei we're gonna call her lorelei number 13 13 is the death card in the tarot so definitely a transformation have needs to happen here um surrounding the way that you are connected to your spiritual nature to your soul your soul self and expressing that it's in your environment so it says, your aim achieved brings satisfaction and accomplishments. 
So that's basically wow, these cards, y'all. Um, like it all just is really fitting, <laughs> even with pile one, it was the same way. Um, so she's basically saying, you know, that there is this victory on the way, it's just a matter of you connecting to. your aim what is it that you actually want to do because once you do once you connect with that it's going to bring the satisfaction that you're seeking so it says the lorelei the lorelei a mistress of fate known for her wisdom known for her great wisdom and beauty predicts victory for you you attract good fortune because like the lorelei a rhyme siren you are learned in right and wrong and can judge the fate of others. She is a spinner who holds the threads of destiny in her hands. You too spin the threads into the pattern of your future life, weaving your own good luck. Just as the Lorelei can offer magical gifts to help a person's life and decisions, you may you make you may bring increased a decision you make may bring increased fortune to you. Someone adores you. Follow your intuition because the Lorelei is the spirit of the sea to whom libations are poured. You will conjure good fortune and have nothing to worry about. So again, whatever it is that as far as creating within the home, uh, it definitely it feels like that it's going to allow you to be able to make some type of money off of that. Um, and really be able to bring another source of income into the home as if you can really focus on it and recognize that you doing this is for the greater good of everyone it's not something you're just wasting your time with if the in the event you feel that way because that's not the case you know don't be so focused on giving 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 in a sense and start making things what they need to be for you. How do you want your future to look? That determ that's determined right here, right now. And so the affirmation card that came out is the story of my life. And so this is about what stories do you tell yourself? What do you tell yourself about your life right now? What, what are you telling yourself about how you think your life is gonna go? You are creating the narrative. You are the author, the illustrator, and the editor okay so definitely take some time to you know get grounded go with them see what it is that is is really desiring to express itself from you so that you can one have a very enjoyable um experience within your home you know and to also um be able to create what you desire and to take care of things how you want to, to, to take care of things. So let me see something. Definitely a need to get balance that heart and mind energy. Those things need to come together, like really need to return to the sense of wholeness of who it is that you are, not who anybody else says you to be. You know, so that you can really tackle the obstacles that are showing up for you. You may be also, what that makes me think about this obstacle card here, um, with being the hangman, you may be um, feeling like you're stuck in a sense. And that that is going to shift you. If it by any, if, by any chance you're feeling like a victim in your circumstance, <laughs> know that your perception is a little bit tainted with that. It's not, you're not seeing things correctly and need to, you know, definitely walk away. If you're feeling like you can't do what it is that you want to do, know that you can. You just need to act on what it is that you need to act on when it's time to do so. When you feel that call, that urge. So this is the Libra card. Here in Libra is... Um, Libra is the sign of relationships, the sign of marriage. It is also about justice, feeling just fairness, balance. It's also about clarity and truth. 
So possibly a need to be honest with yourself about how you are perceiving things, how you're perceiving yourself, perceiving life, perceiving what it is that you are capable of, the relationships that you have, what they are capable of, you know, and how it is that the relationship it is that you have with yourself, you know, where you, again, need to align that heart and that mind so you can get on one accord and really reconnect to your sense of self, your sense of wholeness, really need to connect to that sense of self-love that you have and really open your heart space because also, ooh, okay, so I need to also connect with your, um, your womb energy, because that is, that's where, as women, that's where our creativity lies. I, I, the, this, this particular reading, it's geared toward women. If a man is watching this, perhaps it's for his wife, you know, or his lady, however that may be, but definitely a need to connect to your feminine energy, your, your Venusian woes, you know, your pleasure, your sense of pleasure, your sense of beauty, your sense of feelings. How do you feel about all of these things? You really need to tap into your feelings, go within, get into your body, you know, get some movement going so that you can get into your body. If you're having any pain anywhere, feeling any stagnation, it's really important for you to recognize that so you can kind of our, our pain is speaking to us. It's there for a reason. I'm really connecting with that. So how to, I hope that that was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments. I would love to see and know how life is going for you all. And we are going to move on to power three. So power three, you chose the Magistite Stone. And magicite basically speaks to connecting to your spiritual nature. Um, it's also connecting to your intuition, your your psychic abilities, your your psychic you know, the psychic realm of you. You know, connecting to with the divine. It's a very spiritual stone. <clears throat> it's a very divinatory stone. So it's a stone that can be used if you are trying to connect with your loved ones, if you are trying to connect with your spirit guides as well. <clears throat> so let's see what the cards have for you. Pile three. Pile three. So your focus, pile three, is the Page of Swords. So you may be feeling at this time, you know, feeling very inspired to learn something new, really focus on your truth, in a sense, um, focus on the truth, but also just clarity, getting clear with where it is that you are right now. Perhaps you may be, your perception may be a little bit off in a sense in um, trying to figure things out and, but, and then figuring things out through learning you know, through uh, taking the time to receive any messages that may be coming, that may be needing to come through for you. Maybe also connecting with the ethereal realm and connecting with your spirit guides. And they are at this time giving you guidance on where it is that you are headed, where it is that you are now, and how that is gonna support you going forward. The ways in which it is that you live your life, you are trying to, um, it seems like trying to find some clarity around that and really being focused on what is a real for you, what makes sense for you, what will make sense for you in aligning to that. But it's brand new. You know, it's, at, it's in, this, in this space of growing. So whatever you are getting into, whatever you're learning, whatever messages you're receiving, these are going to support you further on your path in um, growing forward getting to this space of clarity is that you're looking for. So with your routines, you need a, a new idea, 
a new um, perspective, a new way of seeing how you have been going about doing, taking care of your chores, taking care of your routines in your life. Um, allowing things to come full circle about how it is that you have been seeing things and how that has been either serving you or not in in making things happen, right? But you may also have just decided to do something new in regards to, and, and seeing it differently, like, oh, I need to do this instead of this. Let me go ahead and move forward with, with doing this, you know? And in a sense, doing things the way that you feel that you should be doing, or think, I should say, you should be doing, um, really applying any type of plans, any type of thoughts it is that may have been coming through toward your daily routines, your chores, and really just cutting to the bottom of it, you know, just getting, making it happen. So let me see, your feng shui is the eight of swords. And it seems like the flow of energy in the home has you feeling victimized in a sense. Excuse me one second, these hiccups. Okay, so in feng shui, <clears throat> this is metal, the metal room. So this is about helpful people in travel. This is also children and creativity. So, nourishing these aspects of life or these energetic flows can help bring a little bit more harmony in the room. Outside of that, um, perhaps also in regards to with your connection with the children, being with the children, interacting with the children, perhaps you may need someone <clears throat> to come and help you in, or maybe just needing to give thanks or um, acknowledging those who have helped you. Because with this Eight of Swords coming out, it's almost, it's a lot about feeling victimized in a sense, you know, but there is you, some fresh new energy is trying to bring itself into the home, you know, and it's uh, important for you to take that blindfold off so you can recognize what that is for you. So let's see what the self-care comes up as. So we have the judgment card here. So <clears throat> this is about bringing um, that innocence with that passive and active nature of the self, but also metamorphosis, answering the call. What are you being called to do? Where are you being guided to? You know, where where does life need some harmony for you? This can also be speaking of any type of transformations that need to happen, you know, for yourself in coming out of the old way of being so that you can really <clears throat> begin to live a new life in a sense and come out of that space of being victimized, feeling, um, judging your life, you know, and seeing things from a higher perspective as well because judgment is let me see what that i can't remember who what rules judgment but i think it's pluto so it's definitely all about transformation and um changing your viewpoint changing your perspective answering the call that you are needing to dive into so maybe needing to take some time in stillness so that you can recognize this getting still within within the mind because you have a lot of mental energy here that needs some rectification some reconciliation <clears throat> so that you can uh, move forward in a, a clearer space and so your creativity here is five of swords. 
So the creativity will come when you get out of your head, when you uh, get out of this space of feeling conflicted, when you can, you know, see things for what they really are instead of the story that you have created surrounding it. And really taking the time to get more aligned and less disillusioned um, about what's going on here in your life. So yes, your creativity is, you know, it's something that has to do with whatever you love, but it's a need to take the time to see that, you know, because this is about your uniqueness, your individuality. How, what do you believe and perceive of yourself? Perhaps um, it entails something in connect. Okay, so yes, your creativity, it may also lie in connecting with others, you know, and really being able to, um, those who resonate with you, <laughs> on a mental level, in a mind space, believe, have similar beliefs, you know, who are living life the way that you do, who that can understand you, you know, and that, that resonate with you, that you resonate with. There may be some insight there for you that may bring even some clarity in what it is that you can do in your day-to-day -day life. So the next card is about your your wellness, your nourishment. <laughs> wow, have a lot of swords here. I mean, this is the king of swords. So it is definitely all about the mind for you um, and how it is that you're going about seeing things. Um, you may be feeling very balanced in your health, feeling really good in your health, um, seeing yourself as being very healthy. Um, if you are not, then if you are having any um, situation with health, it may be just it may just need to be a mental shift. But with this, also you may need to do some breathing, right? Because this is air energy, metal energy. You may also need some movement going on here that can. Um, really help you get out of this mind space if you are up to it definitely talking to someone who can um a therapist a reader a facilitator a mentor someone who can support you in moving forward with um just your entire life in general because the way in which you are perceiving things um is is really affecting how you are going about being in the home right so relationships <clears throat> you have the sun so your relationships are really good right now you know really enjoying them feeling really fulfilled you know just having a lot of fun um you may have a pregnant friend or maybe you found out you're just pregnant, you know, but also people that you can create with, that you can connect with, um, feeling very expansive and, and, and you feel seen by these people. And if you don't have people in your life that you feel seen by, it's, it's time for you to connect with those who you do feel seen by, you know, so that they can, so that you can have people to connect with and, and create with and, you know, be love and, and receive love, you know, but it feels like that you ha have this here. <clears throat> it's just everything else is, it's all within you, in a sense. And perhaps your the people who you are connected with, if you open up to them about what you're experiencing, they may be the ones that be that will be able to help you in gaining a little bit more clarity in these new ideas. Um, you know, with with this creativity, with how it is that you're expression expressing your energy, and being able to have a um, because creativity, when I see 
so you may be in a sense of conflict uh it's more like you may be in a space of um like in this survival mode kind of space and a need to pull yourself out of that it's a mental thing that's going on here um and that's why it's necessary for you to you know really what are you being called to do where are you being called to go how are you being called to go about doing that what needs to shift are you tapping into your innocence right because the mind is really like this mature state for me and sometimes it can have us not being in our body not feeling joy it's like you have joy in your relationships with nowhere else it's like you almost can't see um the forest for the trees when it comes to being in the home right and a need to um really move it's like it's just a need to shift things things need to transform right because it's almost maybe you are doing things in a certain way out of wanting to keep the the status quo kind of thing you know <clears throat> instead of being the unique original person that you are so that you can um really thrive right so let's see the advice is <laughs> get to the facts what are the facts what is the truth what is real here right what is really going on here what 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 is it that needs to be acknowledged how are you perceiving things you need to take some time to maybe sit with that write with that write out get out of your head it feels like um in, you know, creating this story, creating this narrative that is not, not serving you in a healthy manner, in a sense, and could be um, having you feeling a little bit hard up, especially in your body. So a lot of swords here. Let me see. So well, this is about this is about your fulfillment, your happiness, your bliss. You know, so what what does that look like for you? Where do you what what do you see? How do you see your future? And what what are you telling yourself right now about um, how you think the future is going to be? You can see how the future is going to be based off of what it is that you have going on right now. You're just being created right here, right now. Right, so can you take the time to make the shift, make the change that needs to be made so that you can reconnect to your innocence so that you can have a lot more joy in what it is that you're doing, how you're going about doing that. So let's see, the Oracle card is Unbound. So perhaps there have been Unbound speaks about releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So it's time to do things differently, show up differently, think differently. You may be holding on to some old way of being that keeps you perpetuating this uh, false narrative, these false ideals that are not serving you. It's like you need to throw them into the fire so they can um, be transformed so that you can really integrate what it is that you learn from that so you can bring it forward with you <clears throat> so that you can see what is real and not be clouded by false judgment as well right what is weighing you down you don't you know you incarnated in this life to not continue to live your life how you have been how it was lived in the past but to grow from it so the the dolphin card, well, these are my and dolphin cards, but the card that came out is the dolphin, the pilot well. And the pilot well says, you are your own fate and control your own destiny. That's a nine, that's the hermit card. 
the hermit card speaks about finding the light within, connecting with the light within. Let's see. So the pilot will speaks about freedom. It says that expert help is at hand for you is in is intimidated by the pilot will. The expert help is at hand for you is intimidated by the pilot will. Rescuing sailors and detecting unexploded minds. If your behavior baffles you or others, you may need to question whether you really have your best interest at heart or whether you might be taking the wrong route. You may you may stop doing something because you realize it is wrong to continue. The pilot will and others who blindly follow a single leader will beach themselves on of the fatal shore to drown. What you achieve will be the best result of careful planning and by instinctively knowing who you can trust. You will be making the most of all that comes in on the tide and wasting the least that is washed out. Yeah, so whatever it is that you learned, whatever it is that you had taken in um, from whoever, it's time to let that go so that you can come into your own space and control your own destiny. You are the controller of your own fate, right? So what does life really look like for you? What do you want that to look like? What do you believe? What do you envision for yourself, right? It's a need to connect with your spirit guides so that you can help get some guidance in that. Let's see. The affirmation card is courage. So definitely a need to stand tall, stand strong in what it is that needs to be done, what has to be done. You have to move on from something, from some people, from someone. Um that is keeping you from being able to fully be in your home and enjoy it that keeps you tied into these old thought forms that are not serving your personal life what your life looks like what your life feels like what you want it to be it says courage no one is fearless no one but even though i'm not fearless i am courageous when fear shows up i don't run away from it i use my courage to conquer it my courage allows me to walk right up to that fear and kick it in the nuts, then quickly hide behind someone bigger until it goes away. These are the corniest cards. Okay. <laughs> so in Go Figure, you got the Aries card. It's time for you to be yourself. Live life and do home how you want to, how you see fit, how you want it to be. Connect with your source. Connect with your the divine within you so that you can level up, so that you can upgrade your frequency to a, a space that is for you, so that you can come out of the ideals that do not serve you, so that you can tap into your own personal identity when it comes to being within your home. So, Pal 3, I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys, the candle has gone out. I'm going to lift up this camera. It is late here. So this will be, you guys will be seeing this tomorrow after I share it. And yes, I hope that this was helpful for all of you. I hope that this gives you something that can be useful and supportive of you in moving forward and just feeling fulfilled and having a good time in, at home, you know. A lot of us are home. A lot of a lot of us were forced into the homemaking, home wife role, you know. So I figured that this would be a really good um, source or just um, guidance to be offered to those who are looking for it, who are in need, or who just want to get some insight on more of where it is that they are. So you guys, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day for whenever you are watching this night, evening, afternoon. And I hope that this was helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. You know, let me know what's going on. If you're into that, I would love to read and share with you guys my own, you know, what, what I, so we can relate with one another, connect with one another. So you guys, Y'all have a wonderful time. Again, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys next time. Bye.